Now I'm not one to start rumors, but there's this rumor going around that abalone season is going to be closed until 2030. It's September now, which is the last month to get abalone in the calendar year, and might be my last opportunity to get out there until 2030. Now, the reason why, in case you're interested, is because there's just this huge growth in the population of sea urchins, and sea urchins eat kelp. Abalone's diet is kelp, but there's so many sea urchins, they multiply so fast, they're eating all the kelp, there's no food left for the abalone. And there's a decrease in the sea star numbers, which are the main predators of sea urchins. So with the decrease in predators, the sea urchins numbers are just blowing up and causing the abalone numbers to go down, which I don't really understand why they would close the season completely. It's not like that's going to solve the problem because the sea urchins are just going to multiply and multiply. I think there's got to be some other measure to get rid of the sea urchins or at least regulate their population because if it's closed, I mean, it's not the people who are picking the abalone that's doing the problem. It's the number of sea urchins that are getting the food. So, I don't know, there's tons of ideas on what to do and how to handle this situation, but it seems like Department of Fish and Game is going to handle it by closing the season for 12, 13 years. So, anyway, I don't know. This is my last opportunity to go out. I'm going to do a little spear fishing too. Got my GoPro rigged up on my spear gun. Hopefully get some good footage of some fish. But enough talking, let's get out there. I'm gonna go with Daniel. His YouTube channel is Philosophy D. If you wanna check it out, you get another perspective on this day. So this is the catch for the day. Daniel and I both limited out on abalone. There's no limit and no size limit to sea urchins. Check these things out. They don't even fit in the palm of my hand. The goal was to come out here and get these urchins, AKA uni, and show you how you can eat them. So if you go to a market, they've got this little tool. You just shove it in here and you squeeze it and it'll open the shell in half. And there's five strips of edible portion in this sea urchin. If you don't have that tool, I'll show you another way. So this is its mouth right here. So I'm gonna cut around the mouth. It's full of seawater. You gotta be careful when you're holding this because these spikes are sharp. So just cut around the mouth here. All that water will come out. And that little portion, that little circle that I just cut, this is what it is. This is, this is its teeth. That's a sea urchin's teeth. If you wanted to, you could clean this up and preserve it and save it, put it on your mantle or something. But anyway, now this is what we've got here. Now, like I said, if you were in the market, some lady or something would just jab something in there, squeeze it, pop this shell in half. But since we don't have that luxury, I'm just gonna stick my finger in here and with my fingernail, I can feel around and I can feel where the gonads are, that's what we're gonna be eating. And I just, with my fingernail, scrape it off. So there's five sections of gonads and there's also five sections of guts or something, I don't know exactly what it is. So you don't eat those, you just eat the gonads. And once you scrape them off with your finger, you can just shake them out. And sometimes you'll get a sea urchin that doesn't have any or they won't be looking so good. I don't know about this one. This one doesn't seem to be looking so good so far. Well, oh for one, this one's empty. 
Well, I've had a lot better luck with these red ones. They come in two different colors. I'm not exactly sure why. Anyway, let's try again on this one. And let's see what comes out of this one. Well, that right there is what you're supposed to eat. Sometimes they're bright orange though, and this one is not. Now, I'm not even gonna rinse it or anything. I'm just gonna try to taste this one. I don't know, I have a feeling this one's not good. I might have to open another one. Tastes bitter, that one's not good either. Man, right, let's try number three. All right, this one feels better. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, that looks so gross. That's the good stuff right ah. there. Look how the, whatever, I don't even know what you call this stuff, but it popped and it's oozing this. That's their gonads, I don't know why he's, that's the gonads, dude. It's their gonads, for sure. So you just eat it. Pop the gonads and you wanna eat it? That's a lot better than that last one, that's for sure. Pretty good. Wanna try? Yeah, I'm here to try it. Right. Um. Oh man, that looks that looks pretty gross. Well, I'm not gonna feed it to you. I know, man. Oh, it smells really fishy. I, I brought some soy sauce too, so try it with try it without without oh, soy without sauce first, and then with. All right. Give it a try. Cheers, man. All right, cheers. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Not that bad, right? It's hella creamy. Very creamy. Tastes very much like ocean, though. Let's rinse it off with some fresh water. That's yeah. The so ocean. That's just all that salt water. Doesn't taste bad, though, right? Not not bad. Originally. When it first hit my mouth, it had a bitter taste. Oh yeah, a little bit, and then and then it went away though. Now the the ocean water should be rinsed off by now. So let's see if it tastes different. Oh wow, it tastes very different. No ocean at all. Almost like it doesn't even have a taste in a way. Yeah, but it's really rich. You Definitely, can tell it's for like sure. very rich, very for sure. creamy. Yeah, I would recommend it. Look how once you pop one of those things. This white starch starts to ooze out. One more taste test, a little bit of soy sauce. Just a little bit, a little dab. Wow, like, it's weird. Every time I've had that, I feel like it gets better and better. Yeah, me too. For some reason. It's like a, definitely an acquired taste, I would say, but. Did you acquire it? <laughs> in three tries, maybe. Oh, yeah. It looks so gross though, dude, when it comes out. Yeah, it's like taking a crap or something. This one's nice and healthy. Some nice uni right there. Some nice healthy gonads. You want another one? Uh, sure. Doesn't look very good. Doesn't look very appealing. Right, but... I don't know. People love this stuff though. Yeah. You could tell the different color, the one that I just opened that was really bitter and that I spat out, completely different color than this. So. This one's bright orange. Yeah, they sell these at sushi restaurants, really expensive. Uh, I don't know how much per pound, but. Uh, it doesn't smell very good though. Like, if you smell yeah. it, you'd be like, ah, oh, I don't wanna eat that. Like, almost no smell, I guess. A little bit, a hint. <laughs> that smells like a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Pretty good though, honestly. Like a little soy sauce. I would give this a nine out of ten. Uh, it's that good. I would say nine out of ten. What about you? Uh, for sure, it's an acquired taste. I don't know. I'm trying to acquire it right now. Yeah, me too. But <sighs> every once in a while, for dinner or lunch with some rice. Pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. Hmm. Sea urchin. Just melts in your mouth. 
Yeah, it's like butter. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Yeah, maybe that's why he likes it that much. Yeah. All right. Well, Daniel's going to cook up an abalone now. So if you want, you can check out his channel, Philosophy D. Have another, have another perspective on this day. Abalone season goes till October, so you got another month if you want to go out and get it. And if you come across some sea urchin, now you know how to open them up, get them out. Just use your fingernails, scrape them out. A little soy sauce, wash that salt water off. You'll have yourself something good, a little treat. <laughs>